Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is uh, May 9th and I'm trying to do a random RNG problem that I haven't done yet. Hopefully not too bad. Uh, and we have designed SQL. Is this, I think this is Algo, right? I guess so, though it's really awkward. Alright, let's take a look at this one. It is only a medium, even though it has a lot of downloads by percentage. Let's get to it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. I'm a little bit tired. I ran 11 miles or 10 miles or something, 10 miles and change today. So uh, I'm just tired. All right. So you're given n tables represented two arrays, names and columns, where name sub i is the name of the i table and column sub i is the number of columns in the i table. Uh, say what? Okay. I mean, okay. Let's take a look at an example. So you have what? You have names and then the, you have two columns, three columns and one column. Uh, this is just silly. Okay, fine. Insert a word. Do, 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 do. Number. Autumn. Delete. Okay. I mean, everything, if, if we only need to insert, which we have an auto incrementer, we delete by ID and select by ID, then all we need is a hash table, right? So that, that's basically what we're going to do, right? So we have, um, I don't know, let's say n is equal to the number of names, and then now tables is equal to just a thingy, right? And then for name and names, self.tables of name is equal to this. And maybe we could have right, right, win this with a default collection thing, but. And I think this is maybe for, for the purpose of this one a little bit tighter. And then here, maybe we just add, do we even need to know the number of columns? Uh, mm, oh, you have to select on column ID. Okay, fine. No, even then, we don't even need to know it, assuming that the, um, the input is valid, right? If the input is not valid, then we might have to do something else. I'm going to be, I'm just going to assume the inputs are valid. I but yeah um and then here maybe we have like a what i call um the um auto incrementer right uh this time we'll use collections that counter so that starts at is the first number zero or one the first is one okay right and I think this is maybe it. If not, we'll add some stuff later. I don't know. Insert row, right? So here we use self.tables. So, okay. So um, row ID is equal to um, self.auto incrementer of the name. Um, so it will return, right? Uh, we actually probably just increment it first. Why not? Right? And this defaults to zero, so that's fine. Our idea is equal to this. So then now tables sub name, we want to say of our ID is equal to well. That's pretty much it. I mean, I don't even think we need to process this because we don't need to care about it. And here to delete well, we can just delete sub that tables that name of well ID. Do we have to worry about that the well exist? Okay, so it should exist. So, I mean, uh, it's not even that hard, right? It's just like if statements, if if they want different things, but for now we'll worry about it later. And then now we turn self dot tables of name, row ID, column ID, right? I'm gonna run it real quick. Um, hmm. I mean, I also just don't know what they want, so it's kind of, uh, sorry, I'm talking with my mouth in front of me. I don't know what they want, so I don't know. Um, why, is this like one index or something? I think that may be an issue. We don't mention it though. Mm -hmm. We turn to, three is one index, okay, fine. I mean, that's just, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, okay, so they don't actually say that, right? Like maybe it's in here somewhere. I, oh yeah, here it is. But but I feel like that is actually a critical point. Uh, maybe I missed it somewhere here though. 
But yeah, I feel like that's a critical part that they should mention. I'm going to give it some mid. I don't know if this is right. It is right, but it is just a very weird problem. I don't know what to make of it. Because, I don't know. It's just very weird, right? But uh, but yeah, I think the key part about solving this problem is just noticing what is the pattern that you're looking for. Um, and I don't mean pattern like people talk about, you know, memorizing solutions and different patterns or whatever. It's just like, what is the access... Like what is the read write pattern, and what are like, what do you need to access each row, right? And it seems like all we care about is row ID. Then we could use a hash table, because, because for example, if you need to do some sort of sorting, if you need to return a group or you need to turn a range, then you have to do other things, right? But in this case, that's why I noticed that insertion you even generate the ID, they don't even give it to you, so you don't even have to check. And they, oh, you know, with this problem, they have input validation ish or like they assume or like they guarantee that the inputs are going to be um, valid right so you don't have to validate it so it even makes it easier um the only thing that i tripped up on was this column id thing being one index which i don't i still don't think it's mentioned like not directly i mean this can mean a couple of things but i suppose it is also means one index but it's a little bit awkward but not that bad I mean, it's guessable, I suppose. But yeah, uh, oh, I, I guess go over to some components. I mean, this is all hash table, lookup table. So everything is all of one, effectively. So I don't really have much to say. So I'm not going to say much. Everything's all of one. Uh, I mean, obviously, the no, even this construction is kind of all of n because of this. But other than that, everything is all of one. That's what I have with this one. Let me know what you think. And I think this doesn't even need to happen. I, I just, I don't know. You could do, and you can also do it on... Like you could do it in a lazy way if you like, because there's no validation. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.